another boat. The second of the last 10 minutes on this stretch of water. So this is the main road along the coast now and these are people who've just arrived off boats and you won't see them on this camera but there's another boat just out there just about to arrive another one in the distance the coast guard is there as well it just continues This is the dockside here at Mytilene, which is the capital and the port of Lesbos. It's the first staging post for the refugees as they come across from Turkey and enter into uh, Europe. Uh, they're gathered here basically at the port because they want to get on one of the ferries which are waiting here uh, at the dockside. Uh, but for everybody who gets on, of course, there are many left behind who are still waiting their turn. And what strikes you, of course, is the diversity. There are Afghans here, there are Iranians, there are Iraqis from all over the country, and of course, many, many Syrians all uh, fleeing uh, the conflict in their countries, uh, either directly the flames of war or the consequences of the upheavals that have turned their countries upside down. They've been walking across the border, sometimes hitching lifts on tractors and trailers, getting to this transit camp. These people are queuing up to get inside the camp, while around the other side of the camp, people who've been here for a couple of days, because the idea of this transit camp is that they stay for some 48 hours, they're now desperate to leave and trying to get onto buses, which then take them to trains up through Hungary and to Austria. And there have been some scuffles. I think we can show you some pictures from earlier on today when there was pushing and shoving, really, between the police here and the migrants. And the migrants, really frustrated, they do want to get on with their journey. These people have just walked across the border from Hungary into Austria. They've come on foot. A lot of them arrived at the train station in Hegia Shalom, which is the station over the border in Hungary, and then they walked the final few metres. I was speaking to a group just now. They asked me, where are we? I said, you're in Austria, and they started to cheer. Those who want to apply for asylum in Austria will do so, but many say they want to continue their journey further northwest to Germany. Germany, a country where refugees are officially welcome. Not here. Helfen, ja. We should help them, but back in their own countries, where they come from, not here. We have nothing against war refugees, but the mass immigration needs to stop. Germany can't manage. A river of humanity fleeing from war and terror in Syria and beyond. They come through Turkey, then to Greece, Macedonia and Serbia in the Balkans, into Hungary, finally Austria, Germany and the rest of Europe.
risks in these open boats are unspeakable. Local merchants are profiting on the desperation. This is a life preserver? It looks like a toy. It says, this is not a life-saving device. This is for a little child. The store owner didn't want us around after that. This year, more than 2,300 migrants from across the Middle East and Africa have drowned in the Mediterranean trying to get to Europe. This is what it's like on a beach south of here. Another group sets out wading into the surf, getting packed into that flimsy dinghy. They're all headed to Greece, the first stop in Europe. We're taking the easy way to Greece. We're on a ferry. That is Turkey over there. Eight miles across the water is the island of Chios. That's Greece. The channel right now on a summer's evening looks very calm, but it can be treacherous. And that is where the Syrian refugees are desperate to get to. We land on the Greek island of Chios, and there they are, Muhammad and his family. They made it. I thought I was going to die, Mohammed tells me. Their cell phone videos show how packed that rubber boat was, the fear on the children's faces, and the seas got very rough later. The boat was so rough on the seas that all of your bags and all of your belongings went into the water? Everything, he says. They're exhausted, no place to go, but they're in Greece, only a thousand miles or so to Germany. Ahead of them, what is the problem? Mama, little baby is okay. The chaos at borders, the hundred mile long razor wire fence that Hungary has built, that burning sun, the police looking to get some control over this human tide, and no idea if they will find that new life in Germany, if they even make it there.